Human beings have been endlessly exploring and thinking about the ultimate question of life, and whether the seemingly sci-fi version of human freezing technology, can people really realize their dreams of life continuation? In the 60s of the 20th century, one of the richest men in the United States took on an unprecedented challenge to freeze himself for 50 years and planned to be awakened in 2017 to start a new life. So, what is going on with this bold plan now? James Bedford, the richest man in the United States who became famous in the 60s of the 20th century. He started from scratch and built his own business empire with extraordinary wisdom and perseverance. However, wealth and status did not satisfy Bedford. In the context of the rapid development of science and technology at that time, he began to focus on a more challenging topic, how to prolong life, and even achieve immortality. Freezing technology was originally a scientific method for preserving biological tissues at extremely low temperatures. In the 60s of the 20th century, scientists began to try to apply cryonics technology to the human body, hoping to achieve the suspension of life in this way, so as to provide more possibilities for future medical technology. James Bedford saw the potential of this technology, and when he was terminally ill with cancer, he decided to try freezing himself for 50 years. Bedford was officially sealed in a cryo chamber in 1967, and the technology was full of unknowns and risks under the technical conditions of the time. However, Bedford firmly believes that the technology of the future will surely allow him to reawaken and continue to pursue his dreams. In the 50 years that Bedford was frozen, the world has changed dramatically. In 2017, according to the plan, he should be awakened and start a new life. However, when Bedford was thawed, it was discovered that reality was not as rosy as it had been. Although cryonics technology has made some progress in the field of biomedicine, there are still many difficulties in fully waking up a person who has been frozen for 50 years. First of all, cell damage and loss of function are unavoidable problems during freezing. In addition, prolonged freezing can also lead to serious consequences such as immune system collapse and nervous system damage. Sadly, despite the best efforts of scientists, James Bedford suffered irreversible damage during the freezing process. He was unsuccessful in his recovery, and physical condition was not good, and when the freezer was opened, Bedford's body lay quietly. Although James Bedford's attempt failed, that doesn't mean cryotechnology is worthless. In fact, cryonics technology has achieved certain results in the biomedical field, such as freezing embryos, freezing cells, etc. However, there are still great challenges in applying cryonics to the human body and achieving a long pause in life. With the continuous development of life sciences, cryonics technology is expected to be more widely used in the future. Genetic repair of damage during freezing, or improvement of cryoprotection through nanotechnology are possible future development directions. Perhaps in the near future, we will be able to achieve safer and more efficient freezing technology. However, a series of ethical issues raised by human freezing technology cannot be ignored. First of all, does it violate the principles of human rights and free will if the human body freezing technology requires the family or the patient to make a decision in advance? Moreover, if this technology is truly realized in the future, will the resuscitated human still be able to have normal thinking and feeling? There is still no clear answer to these questions, and it is also one of the most controversial questions in society. There are also two different voices in society about this technology. On the one hand, proponents firmly believe that human freezing technology is a great scientific and technological advancement that can free human beings from the shackles of death, achieve immortality, and lead mankind to a more advanced era. Opponents argue that this technology violates the laws of nature, loses reverence for life and death, and is a desecration of human dignity. James Bedford's frozen journey ended in failure, but his courage and spirit of exploration still deserve our admiration. Today, with the rapid development of science and technology, we have reason to believe that cryonics technology will eventually play a greater role in the field of life sciences. 
And James Bedford's attempt will also become a page in this history that cannot be ignored. Thank you.